What's going on guys? Haven't made a video in a while because I downloaded the new program or whatever, Cantalina for the Mac computer and long behold it doesn't work for OBS. So I had to figure that out and it took me a week and I finally got it working here. So in this video today we're going to be talking about the cannabis industry, you know, why it's dropping, is it a good time to buy for a long play or are you going to be catching a falling knife? And then after that we're going to go ahead and get into you guys a little bit. You know in my last video I said I was going to go into a reverse split so we're going to see if I still think that might happen or not. So let's get into the computer here and talk about these stocks that we were just talking about. But this degenerate here thinks that the marijuana stocks are not going to recover. Personally I disagree with them. One thing though that I think that is really true about these marijuana stocks is they ran up really hard and way too fast. It, it, like it basically just created a big bubble and the bubble had a pop and it's popping hard right now. Just like you can see right here, Tilray ran up 400% just in three months. And Tilray wasn't the only one. A lot of these other marijuana stocks also ran up really hard. And the only reason why they ran up is basically because everybody knows about marijuana. Everybody has smoked marijuana once in their life. And if you haven't smoked marijuana, maybe you should live a little bit and try it once. And the reason why all these marijuana stocks ran up so hard was basically because everybody knows about marijuana. You know, they might not know about certain companies and stuff like that, but marijuana, everybody knows about it. All of the medical benefits that marijuana has for vets and cancer patients, and it just goes on and on. And not to mention recreational, you can throw that in there as well. So that's basically basically why I think all of these marijuana stocks ran up ridiculously. And they basically just created a huge bubble for him where it just had to collapse. It had to. So if you go down here in the article a little bit more, he says the pot boom is mostly empty hype now. What do you mean empty hype? So he says now that it's becoming legal, there's nothing special about marijuana. It's, it's like corn and wheat and just like a regular crop. I strongly disagree with that. It's not like corn and wheat at all. I don't know if this guy's smoking crack or what, but it's not even close to corn and wheat. I used to be a farmer, so I should know that. Now it's just getting really stupid here. He's saying like, how many Walmarts are in the U.S.? It's like 4,000 something, blah, blah, blah. And he says, how many how many special broccoli stores do you see in the U.S.? Or how many special carrot stores do you see in the U.S.? I'm I'm done with this article. I'm just done. He's This guy's a fucking moron. How can you compare broccoli and carrots to marijuana. Eating carrots, it's not gonna help the vets. It's not gonna help your cancer. All right, I'm done. I'm done with this article. Let's move on. So if I was gonna go ahead and invest in a marijuana stock, I basically have two companies that I would invest in. And the first one is ticker CGC, Canopy Growth. And I'm not gonna really get into it because a lot of you guys know what CGC is, Canopy Growth. But they're in cahoots with Constellation Brands, which is an enormous alcohol company. They serve everything, liquor, wine, beer. And I think some famous person got into Canopy Growth too, so I can't really remember what his name was. So if you didn't know, Constellation Brands acquired 9.9% stake in Canopy Growth back in 2017. And I don't know what the price was then, but it was pretty darn high. So if you're one of the people that's holding this stock right now and you're actually down a lot, don't feel that bad because they're actually down 54 million right now. And personally, if it was me, I would not sell right now now because this stock is eventually going to go up but yes it is probably going to keep on bleeding a little bit more and there's no way to find out when this bottom is going to happen so if we look at cgc here it is just a massacre don't plan on buying it right now if you're planning on to you're just going to be catching a falling knife so we're going to be looking at resistance here right at about 18 dollars so that's the first part that i'm looking at right here see if it could get over that and hold it but let's take a look at the bigger picture maybe to see if we can find some support levels down where it's at right now because it's down pretty far Let's try the 10 year two day chart and see what we're looking at and see it right here real quick. It's looking like just after that earnings there, it actually might have just fell on support. I think it did. I think it fell on support there. So it's looking like it is on support right there from the 10 year two day chart that it fell on. So this might hold that. That's some pretty hard support, but the way it's going right now, it, it might end up just breaking right through it. But this might be a good time to get an entry on this. Not a big one, not a big entry. I mean, I'm saying like a little bit, just a little entry, just in case it starts going down more. That way you can put it a little bit more in just to average down, maybe even for a quick little swing trade if you don't feel like holding it that long. All right, so I was talking about, I had two cannabis stocks that I would invest in. And so this is one and the other one's gonna be ACB. Aurora Cannabis. And a lot of these marijuana stocks, they all look the same. They're all got the same kind of chart set up because it's the same sector and they're all going to do the same kind of stuff. This looks like it doesn't have any support here to hold on right now. I can actually see ACB dropping more. Let me zoom in here and see if I can see something. It's looking like the support level is going to be around $2.24. So I can probably see this dropping a little bit more until it hits this area and then hopefully it gets a little bounce off of that. But the big story here is I don't think that marijuana stocks are done. They were just in a huge bubble and the bubble 
bubble had to pop. Everybody knew that. Everybody knew it was going to happen. These stocks ran up way too fast and way too hard. The only reason why these stocks ran up were because people say, hey, I knew marijuana. I know what it is. I'm going to go ahead and invest in it. I smoked marijuana. Let's go ahead and invest in it. But eventually, I think that all of these stocks are going to recover. And I personally think once these stocks start to turn around, you're going to end up seeing higher highs. And those that sold for a loss are going to be kicking themselves right in the ass. Saying, why did I sell? Why did I sell? All right, moving on to you gas. So you gas is getting really choppy right now. And the report came out Thursday and everybody thought, hey, you know, winter uh, is coming, blah, blah. It's cold, cold weather. And it's going to have so much withdrawal of gas. And it makes me laugh when I hear people say that, oh, you guys is so easy to trade. Everybody should trade it. And then stuff like this happens and people lose all their money because you guys isn't easy to trade unless you do your research and you understand how to trade the natural gas. So let's zoom in and I'm going to give you my prediction of what's going to be happening on Monday. You can see we created another gap to the downside. So that's going to be a suction cup to make it go up. It's just a back and forth game. And if we're looking at what happened today, we did have a higher low than what we had yesterday. So it's kind of going in an upward pattern as of right now. But I don't know if this is going to happen on Monday, but eventually we're going to fill this gap right here. And I can see us getting up here right around the 1830 area. But I'm basically still bearish on you guys right now. Yes, I think we are going to get up to the 1830 area, but I think we're going to end up dropping from there. And I'm not going to go ahead and show you any weather patterns coming in because that's not going to change my opinion at all about what is going to happen with you gas. And I'm saying that because we have so much storage right now. And if we look at it right now, we are in December's contract. So by the end of this month, we're going to be going into January's contract. So you could see some spikes here and there, but like I said, I, I don't see a run like we had last year. Not even close. Yeah, so that's what I think is going to happen on Monday. I think we're going to be green on Monday. I think we, we might end up filling that gap maybe get up to about $18.30 right around there see if it can hold the support level right around here if it holds it maybe we might see 23 I don't know but I doubt it I see it getting up there and then making a higher low and then continuing on the downward motion all right guys hope you enjoyed that video hit that like button down below if you enjoyed it and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button so you keep on getting this content if you do enjoy learning more about the stock market and stocks and stuff like that so uh, let's go ahead and make some money everybody